Hello friends, welcome to my channel Trips World. Today our subject is immunoglobulin. In this video, I am going to introduce some multiple choice questions on immunoglobulins. There are 20 questions with explanations. So let's start. Before going to this video, uh, you just watched our previous videos about immunoglobulin couple, couple of times. So you will get all the answers of the following questions. The first question, the predominant immunoglobulin in saliva is IgA. Question number two, which immunoglobulin crossing the placenta? IgG. IgG is the immunoglobulin that crosses the placenta. Question number three, which is the largest immunoglobulin? IgM. IgM is the largest immunoglobulin. To remembering this one, you just order this immunoglobulin in the alphabetic order. That is immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin E, immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M. So the largest one from the top to bottom, M is the largest one. By that we can memorize that immunoglobulin M is the largest immunoglobulin. I hope you got this. The largest immunoglobulin is immunoglobulin M. Question number 4. Which of the following is the most abundant immunoglobulin? IgG. Immunoglobulin G is the most abundant immunoglobulin. Because IgG makes up eight, about 85% of the total immunoglobulin. Question number 5. Which immunoglobulin is targeted against polysaccharides of encapsulated bacteria? IgG2 IgG type of antibodies is composed of four different subtypes of immunoglobulin molecules called the IgG subclasses. These are IgG1, IgG2, IgG3 and IgG4. When one or more of the subclasses is persistently low and the total immunoglobulin is normal, a subclass deficiency is present. So, IgG2 subclass deficiency is associated with a diminished immune response to polysaccharide antigen. Uh, when talking about IgG1 and IgG3, IgG1 and IgG3 Subclasses are rich in antibodies against the toxins produced by diphtheria and tetanus bacteria as well as the antibodies against viral proteins. IgG2 antibodies are predominantly against the polysaccharides coating of certain disease producing bacteria such as streptococcal pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae. And about IgG4, IgG4 is present in very low level in children younger than 10 years of age. So, IgG4 deficiency are not usually diagnosed before the age 10. And also, IgG4 may be undetectable in serum of many normal adult individual. And therefore, IgG4 alone is insufficient evidence for an antibody deficiency disorder. So let's come to our question, which IgG is targeted against polysaccharides of encapsulated bacteria? The answer is IgG2. Let's go to our next question. Question number 6. Immunoglobulin G can pass through the placenta, but IgG provide which type of immunity to newborn? Answer is passive immunity. IgG provide passive immunity to the newborn. Question number 7. Which immunoglobulin is found in blood serum colostrum and cannot pass through the placenta? Answer is immunoglobulin A. Immunoglobulin A is present in blood serum body fluids like saliva, mucus, bile, tear, colostrum and it cannot pass through the placenta. So, IgA, immunoglobulin A is not passing through the placenta. Question number 8. Which of the immunoglobulin is predominant in secondary immune response? Answer is immunoglobulin G. Immunoglobulin G is 
predominant in secondary immune response. IgG antibodies are in secondary immune response whereas IgM is primary response. The secondary immune response occur second time the person is exposed to the same antigen. At this point, immunological memory has been established and the immune system can start making antibodies immediately. IgG can bind pathogen like for example virus, bacteria and fungi and thereby protect the body against the infection and toxins. So IgG is responsible for secondary immune response and IgM is responsible for, it, for the primary immune response. Question number 9. The smallest molecular weight immunoglobulin is? Answer is immunoglobulin G. Immunoglobulin G is the smallest molecular weight immunoglobulin. So that's why it is crossing through the placenta. The only immunoglobulin that crossing to, through the placenta is immunoglobulin G. And it is the smallest molecular weight immunoglobulin. When you think about IgG, you should remember one word that is cro cro. So that you will go two points about immunoglobulin G. That is, first one is it present in chron chronic infection. That is secondary infection. That is secondary immune response. And the second point is it can cross placenta. So the two points are it can cross the placenta and it is the responsible for secondary immune response. So remember the word cro cro. So let's come to next question. Question number 10. Immunoglobulins are produced by which type of lymphocytes? Answer B cells. Immunoglobulins are produced by B cells. Antibodies that is immunoglobulin that are produced by a specialized blood, white blood cells called B lymphocyte or B cells. When an antigen binds to the B cell surface, it stimulates the B cell to divide and mature into groups of identical cells called a clone. A clone is a group of identical cells which is stimulated by the B cell surface when an antigen attack occur. Question number 11. Which immunoglobulin act as primary response? Answer is immunoglobulin M. Immunoglobulin M act as the primary immune response. IgM. It is the first antibody to appear in response to the initial exposure to an antigen. The difference between IgG and IgM are IgM is the largest immunoglobulin whereas IgG is the smallest immunoglobulin. IgM is responsible for primary immune response. IgM is responsible for primary immune response. Here the first antibody to appear in response to initial exposure to an antigen. Question number 12. Antigen binding sites of an immunoglobulin are located in FAB region of antibody. Answer is FAB region of antibody. FAB. Fragment antigen binding. That is FAB. The antigen binding fragment is a region on an antibody that binds to the antigen. So, the antigen binding site of an immunoglobulin is located in the FAB region of antibody. Question number 13. Which of the following mediates type 1 hypersensitivity reaction? Answer is immunoglobulin E. Immunoglobulin E mediates type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. The difference between a normal infectious immune response and type 1 hypersensitivity response is that in type 1 hypersensitivity, the antibody is immunoglobulin E instead of immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M. So the immunoglobulin E is responsible for mediating type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Most allergic reactions are immunoglobulin E mediated. And therefore, the most allergies are types of type 1 hypersensitivity. 
Question number 14. Which of the following theory of antibody production is most widely accepted? The answer is clonal selection theory. There are five theories proposed for antibody production. They are side chain theory, clonal selection theory, direct template theory, indirect template theory and natural selection theory. In which the most accepted one is clonal selection theory. It was proposed by Burnett in 1957. Burnett proposed clonal selection theory in 1957. It is the most widely accepted theory of antibody production. Question number 15. Which is the most efficient fixing class of antibody? Answer is IgM. IgM is the most efficient fixing class of antibody. Serum IgM exists as a pentamer in mammals and comprises approximately 10% of normal human serum immunoglobulin content. Question number 16. J chain is present in immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin A. A J chain is a protein component of the antibodies that is present in immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin A. Question number 17. Heat labeled class of immunoglobulin includes immunoglobulin E. Each antibody subclass exhibits a distinct heat tolerance and immunoglobulin E is especially known to be heat labeled. Immunoglobulin starts unfolding at lower temperature compared to other antibodies because of the low stability of its CH3 domain. So the most heat labeled immunoglobulin is immunoglobulin E. Question number 18. Which of the following is the phylogenetically oldest immunoglobulin? Answer is immunoglobulin M is the phylogenetically oldest immunoglobulin. And also uh, one thing we can remember along with this is um, immunoglobulin M is the largest immunoglobulin. So remember this oldest and largest immunoglobulin is the immunoglobulin M. Question number 19. Anti-RH antibodies are IgG type and IgG is anti-RH antibody. RH immunoglobulin is a preparation of immunoglobulin given to a D negative woman during the pregnancy and following delivery of a D positive fetus. It can prevent anti-D hemolytic disease of a newborn. Question number 20. Which immunoglobulin does play a role in hypersensitivity reaction like allergy, asthma and also protect the body from helminthes pathogen? Answer is IgE type. IgE is responsible for type 1 hypersensitivity reactions and it protect the body from helminthic pathogen also. These are the 20 multiple choice questions on immunoglobulin. Now I, can, I am giving you some more tips to remember the main points on immunoglobulin. First of all immunoglobulin A. Immunoglobulin A is present in body secretions like tear, saliva, bile, blood, colostrum and breast milk. So IgA can be remembered as all secretions. A for all that is it present in all secretions. Then comes to immunoglobulin D. Just you can remember it as D for differentiate. IgD can remember as differentiates B lymphocytes. That is the function of IgD is to signal the B cells to be activated. IgE hypersensitivity allergy. In these two there is E. So it is easy to remember I IgE mediates type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Then comes to our IgG. The main point on IgG can remember with a word cro cro that is first point is that IgG can cross the placenta. The only immunoglobulin that can cross the placenta is um, immunoglobulin G. That is why it is the smallest molecular weight to immunoglobulin. The molecular weight is 150,000 Dalton. 
and it make up to 80 percentage of the total immunoglobulin so the next crow is chronic infection that is immunoglobulin g mediates secondary immune response okay so you don't forget this crow crow by that you will get three more points together on immunoglobulin g igm it is the largest immunoglobulin it is easy to remember because if you write this immunoglobulin in the alphabetic order from the top to bottom the igm is the largest one if you know the alphabets surely you won't forget this igm is the largest immunoglobulin so these are some tips and tricks you will get more tips from our previous videos on immunoglobulin so friends i hope you got all these points if you like my video like and share it to your friends and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get notifications if i am uploading new videos so once again thank you thanks for watching